My whole uh, academic career has been a series of unplanned events that have turned out fantastic without, without my involvement seemingly. For me, teaching is very important because as soon as I walk into that classroom, it's like an oasis of peace. When one speaks with uh, a lay audience, when one speaks with family members or somebody that's not in the profession and you tell them that you're a teacher, the first thing they say is, well, you know, what do you do the rest of the day because you must be teaching all day. While it's true that teaching is a small part of your entire day, it is probably the most important part. And for a university to recognize good teaching, I think shows that the university has its heart in the right place. You couldn't think of a better way to recognize the fact that we have such outstanding students here. They're so polite. I find it hard to believe, and this dates back to my first day teaching a class at Auburn University. I was so surprised by how polite our students are and how respectful. It's been one of my goals to try to return that favor. And to say that I have learned from my students while teaching them would be an understatement. There are so many skills that I have picked up outside of the classroom from such wonderful students. Students that I stay in touch with today, years after they've graduated, I've been to their weddings, I've had the pleasure of seeing their families. What I try to impart to students is to make sure that they can receive consistent behavior from me in the classroom and that they get their money's worth because if you think about how much a student is paying for each course that they take at Auburn University, that's a several thousand dollars. So for them to get their money's worth is important. So if I can communicate that to them and make them expect to get their money's worth, then I know they'll put in the effort because they've equated it with something of great value. I've been very fortunate to have had role models right from an early age. Uh, my mother went back to school after raising kids and got her uh, PhD the same year that I got mine. So we were in a little bit of a race to see who would get there first and we tied. And so my mother's been a major role model. Um, inspiration comes at you from unexpected quarters from all around you. Um, from your father-in-law at age 70 who has trained himself to be even more computer savvy than I am, to your child who, without realizing it, in working with him on, on his math and his calculus, I'm actually learning calculus better than I did when I was a student. So inspiration's all around you.